Welcome back to the podcast. I'm Mike Rice. This is Beijing, China, and you're listening to the China Stories. So you know you're connected when you're sitting and going over WeChat to make sure you've got all your stuff squared away so that you can go and celebrate the holiday and not have to worry. And you run across a picture in WeChat in China, one of the most controlled social media programs in the country and in the world, a picture of Don Lemon with the Chiron about Donald Trump and, of course, the unfortunate diagnosis of coronavirus. Haven't heard anything from my Chinese friends because I was so shocked by this. I was actually sitting and preparing a video as we speak, and I decided to go ahead with the, 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 uh, the cowboy setup that I've got here, which is to uh, use my phone and my lavalier mic. So any sound quality or any uh, problems, I apologize. But I wanted to get online about it because I wanted to make sure that I, I caught this because I swear to you, I was driving around Beijing on my motorcycle, which is the video you're seeing now, and I, I realized that we were, you know, the debate, <laughs> which I was able to VPN in here and see, it was just, you know, oof. I was disappointed in them both. Uh, Joe actually managed to stand up for an hour and a half and... Uh, say thoughts that didn't, you know, didn't find him stumbling all over himself. I think there's, uh, we expected what Donald Trump did, but I think it just seemed all so, I don't know, tawdry. <laughs> <Is> that, <laughs> does that make me sound too Victorian? So I guess maybe my, I was disappointed in it. I was, I was honestly disappointed. I don't, I'm not going to hide that. I'm a conservative and I don't hide that either. Uh, I'm not apologizing for not believing that um, in, in, in this current social justice nonsense, um, critical race theory, etc. I am, however, acutely aware that conservatives and, Repu and, and, and others <laughs> need to behave themselves, and, and this was not a situation where two men were behaving themselves. Donald Trump was really fired up, and Joe was really condescending, and blah, 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 blah. So I'm on here now because I was already making a video and I was going to talk about not the debate at all, but this brought it home because Donald Trump is now has coronavirus. I want you to keep in mind, um, I don't want to come home now. I'm going to have to wait, and I'm not going to. I'm going to have to wait and see what plays out, okay? Um, mostly because I'll find another country to live in uh, if... Uh, if things go badly, and things are going badly, with Donald Trump having coronavirus, that places us in a position where it will embolden the left. And furthermore, it's going to be one of those situations where none of nobody seems to understand what we're on the cusp of. If we let this go, if we if we don't focus and find a way to cooperate, we will never be able to provide for ourselves as it regards maintaining our constitution and our way of life. There are things that need to be fixed. Only a fool would say there wasn't. But I'm telling you now, the minute you throw that constitution out and you burn it all down, as they'd like to say, that's a mistake. Here's the thing. Um, I love my country. It's interesting to watch because of the national holiday today, um, which is, by the way, just as a sideline, uh, they're calling it a 10-day holiday. And so it was Thursday, Friday, right? We had to work Wednesday, but Thursday, Friday, which is today, and then uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week, the whole week off next week. So to me, that's seven days. <laughs> and, to the, and to China, who counts the weekends, it's 10. It's 10 days in a row, and I'll give them that, but it's not a 10-day holiday. The weekend doesn't stop being the weekend, despite what you do during the week. <laughs> anyway, it's one of, those, one of those little nitpicky things I've been, always been bitching about in China. People are like, let it go, let it go. <clears throat> so what we don't understand in the United States is how close we are to bringing it all to the end. We have a huge responsibility to not start killing off people who disagree with us. 
It was a shocking thing to me to see that guy get shot dead in the streets of Portland. And why they didn't cremate that body in public, I have no idea. Not the guy that got shot, but the guy that then shot himself because he was a coward and knew what would happen. He was also mentally ill, I suppose. We can all go with that. But listen, I don't really have any answers here. I just wanted to mark the day that it was announced that Donald Trump and his wife, Melania, have coronavirus. And I really would like to think that we're going to pull together as a nation. Perhaps this is a chance. I doubt it. But it's a chance. And I'm not coming home till somebody takes it. I love you all. Remember, always be courageous and kind. This is Mike Rice. You've been listening to the China Stories. See you next time. And we'll see you next time.